Greetings, all. <sighs> Any one thing, it's another. Looks like we got another new plague. Yeah. yeah, COVID wasn't bad enough, you know, and oh, then there was the avocado lace bug. Now it's HLVD. Yeah. yeah. Hops latent viroid. The D is a lowercase, not like VD, which is an uppercase. Uh, apparently, uh, this is infected about 90% of the farms of the grow cannabis in California. Uh, the guys who are deep into cannabis cultivation culture here, uh, they apparently already knew this. This was fairly new news to me. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know anything about it, but I don't get out much. I don't talk to a lot of guys that grow cannabis or anything like that. So uh, I just happened to spot the article. And so then I started calling around and talking to some of the local guys here. And yes, they had known this has been ongoing for a few years. It's been getting worse every year. Um, the, the viroid has probably been around forever. Okay. It, it transmits both to cannabis and to hops, which are closely related. Now, um, well, it will reduce the yield of the plant by at least 30%, and it oftentimes will reduce the potency of the plant by over half. Well, that's great. Just what everybody wants is half-potency cannabis uh, that's low-yielding, and uh, it's transmissible uh, by you know, mostly... Mechanically, this disease is happening now, and it didn't happen 5,000 years ago. It's happening now because of the way we do farming. Yeah, that's why the Green Garden guy is the guy he is, that all my life I've been going, no, no, not that way. Yeah. Yeah, well, they did it again. This time, another wonderful crop. They could come completely screw it uh, it's happening because they don't use seed everything is cloned and then the farms share the clones and so the living tissue is moving from place to place place to place carrying the viroid in it and spreading it through these farms and there is an eight percent chance although it's still under study uh, as to whether the viroid can or cannot move into the seed. Uh, this is really a problem, okay? Now, there was a time, yes, there was a time before some uh, not too smart guys in the U.S. government and state governments decided that they were going to import honey and bees from China. Well, that was a terrible idea for the American uh, beekeeping business. You know, they undercut the prices, and uh, the bees were infected. When they brought packaged bees in, they had varroa and tracheal mites. Well, that spread throughout all the beekeepers in the mainland United States. For quite a while, Hawaii was clean. We didn't have it. And so we were able to produce clean queens for bee culture in the mainland because we didn't have the mites over here well i got the mites here too somehow i i'm not even going about how these things get around but it's not easy you got to bring a living bee in carrying the mite and it's got to be part of a colony so basically somebody brought infected colonies with an infected queen in well <laughs> In conversation today with some of my deep cannabis culture characters, I, uh, the comment was, it's hopeless. <laughs> the reason why, according to one of my neighbors, all cannabis cultivators are stupid. <laughs> that was the comment. I'm sure that's going to make people happy when I pass that along, but uh, I understand what he's talking about. Uh, the whole idea of clone, 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 clone. Um, they didn't have this problem for thousands of years because they used seed to produce cannabis. Um, and when you use seed, chances that you're going to be spreading something like that uh, wholesale 
and then sharing the clones between the farms. The agricultural practices in California were what doomed us uh, and could uh, completely destroy what was one of the finer crops on the face of the planet. Um, So, the only thing I got to say about it over here is... um, any research I've done so far doesn't seem to indicate that we know we have the viroid here in Hawaii. Uh, chances are we probably do, especially if it can move in seed. It's probably here. And I know that a lot of the guys that do this stuff here, they do it the same way they do it in California. It's all clones, and so once it gets started, now, I, on the other hand, if we don't bring infected tissue onto the island, then we're smart enough to say, nope, keep your clones over there, people. We don't want nothing to do with that. And if we're real careful about where we're sourcing our seed from, and then observing what happens when we grow the seed out to make sure that we had clean seed, uh, we could keep we could keep the place free. We're an island. We could uh, keep it off the island. But, <laughs> like my buddy says, uh-uh. <laughs> it's hopeless. They're going to screw it. Yeah, they will. Because the, the Department of Agriculture realize cannabis is such a borderline uh, issue as far as the government's concerned at the moment. That you're not going to see the Hawaii Department of Agriculture stepping in and trying to, you know, prevent the spread of this horrid hemp disease. No, that isn't going to happen. It's really, if it doesn't spread, it's only going to be because of conscientious and diligent people Oops, that's right, I forgot. We're talking about cannabis cultivators. All right. Uh, Yeah. We are doomed. (laughs) Yes. Um, So the best suggestion is, if you have an island of clean seed that you're working from, if you're the sort of character like myself and several other people I know here who don't do this big time clone, 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 that we're totally into random genetics, we like seed, okay, we like male and female plants and so on, and we tend to start and stop any uh, any, um, thing that's happening within a 12-month period. See, get an infected plant. I, I'm killing everything by the end of the year, and everything when I start over, I got to start over from seed. As long as I can keep my seed clean, I won't have the problem. And there's a lot of other people, or at least there are some other people here uh, that I'm familiar with, that this is how they do business too. They do not and continuously clone away. But there's a whole lot of others that do the same thing. So beware, folks. If you get it, it lasts longer on surfaces than COVID did. No, it'll be there 24 hours plus. Alcohol won't clean it off. Bleach, they say, is the only thing that's going to work on this viroid on a surface. Uh, if it gets into your houses, it, it infects the soil. It'll infect your containers. It will infect all of your plants if you're cloning. Uh, the if the tool you're using to make your cuttings you know, it, you know isn't sterilized between every cutting you're going to move it through if you had clean cuttings you're going to transmit it to them and so on so it will take perfect sanitation um which isn't something a lot of us are real good at either so my suggestion is Let's go backwards, uh, rewind the clock, go back and start using seeds again. Uh, it's going to be the only way you'll keep this clean. Yeah, yeah. Aloha, y'all hang loose now. <laughs>